Shadow, sit. Come on. Good boy. Wait there. This is one of Shadow's favourite things. He loves water. Wait. See that? You went to go. Wait. Shadow, wait. I'm not being nasty. This is just his impulse control. Just make sure he can... You ready? Good boy. Go on. There you go. He loves water. So him actually just chilling and waiting. It's really, really beneficial. Because it means that in a situation where you need to ask him to calm down or settle and it's something that he really loves or quite stimulating for him you do a big shake big shake good boy when it's something that's stimulating for him and you need to manage the situation he can rein it in a little bit and like you say every little helps but as you can guess we're out in Swindley again absolutely love it here Charles was great last night slept all the way through again um, I haven't got the crate set up this time I've left the crate put away because I've got trust for him in the house because he's got his toys now and we've worked through what he needs to have a settled night. Um, he slept outside my door probably until I went to sleep and then he went on the sofa and also onto his bed that's in the front room. Uh, slept all the way through till he heard me stirring this morning and then I saw these lovely two brown eyes looking at me and um, gave him a little come on then and he jumped up on the bed and he spooned with me for about 30 minutes. Um, just cuddled up, slopped right in. He's just great. Absolutely so soft in the house now. Um, and he settled really well. His breathing um, is really nice now. It was quite shallow and fast because of the excitement and being adrenalised. Um, <clears throat> as you'd expect from coming out, of, uh, coming out of kennels and then coming into a home again. It's all exciting. And yeah, he just chilled down really well. We're going to have a nice walk here. It's early morning this morning. Well, early morning. It's early morning for me because I work nights. So... We're going in here for now, and I'm going to go and get him some food later. Come on, pup. Good boy. This way. Get him some food later on, and then have another town walk later. We're going somewhere where it's going to be a little bit busier, both dogs and humans. Uh, going to work on the close work again. But he's loving his time out. He's settled right in. I'll do some more stuff later on. Um, but what I am doing is I am actually bringing him up above levels that he was at last time because what he's doing is instead of bouncing around jumping off furniture and being a bit manic he's actually just lying down and embracing the affection and embracing the play that we're having um did some work this morning with him with his lying on his back with his mouth open um and me sort of moving my hands around he's back to where we used to be where we did a game called kisses where i have got don't recommend this to everybody it's a quite a, a big level of trust with a dog but um to stop any mouthing um i mean it could sounds a bit like a fetish as well but yeah i covered my arm in uh, squeezy cheese and shadow will lick it and if he ever went to look to nip or get a bit too ferocious um the arm would come away and it would be ah uh -uh, and then arm would be presented and he'd play kisses again and he was doing that last night straight away no problem at all so he's remembered all of the stuff we've done so, yet again, a 30 second special has turned into another three minutes. Um, I'll shut up and uh, here you go. Home, if you're out there, this boy is absolutely outstanding. For the time that you need to manage him, it's well worth it. Well worth it. It's going to be minutes in a day that you have to manage him for hours worth of reward. Beautiful boy. Chad, with me. And this is what we've installed as well. With me, he's coming in close. Cuddles all away. Into your puppy. Hey, beautiful boy. What's this? Go on. Go on, Elise. It's yours. Good boy. Go on in. There you go. Look at that.